All right, 3.55 a.m., wake your ass up, heading to the gym. Uh, day three, squat every day vlog. So that really started out by just trying to see like, can I get more comfortable back under the bar, going back to raw lifting. Um, I'll still probably put my suit on at some point and do a meet, but um, I just came off of a really good equipped meet um, and off just being kind of banged up over the last couple years off and on. I am about to be 44 this week, just saying, anyhow. But I've been competing since I was 17, for y'all that don't know me. And anyway, so I just come off a PR 694.4 at 181, master squat, 16th all time, um, drug free, or I'm sorry, no, non-tested. And I, I'm drug free, it's number two all time, tested. So come off a very successful meet where I did a bodybuilding show the day before, and then did a power lift to me the day after. So I'm pretty proud of that. That was just a few months ago. But I really been wanting to get back to raw lifting, but it's gonna take me time. So that's why I figured, you know, I'm feeling better, lunging 320 days now, uh, post-workout, six to 800 meters. Now I added a vest most of the days. Things are feeling good. Anyway, so I go back to, I watch a old interview actually on juggernaut training of John Bros. I think Chad Wesley Smith's his name. Um, I love John's fucking approach. That's why I went and learned from John the first time around. He's just so matter of fact and just fucking right to the point. So right to my point. Whoa! Are you still there? You're still there. So right to my point was all right, dude, you just need to fucking squat more often. That's it. You just need to squat more often and you need to fucking get comfortable under the bar. That's what happened the first time. That's how he made these weights. I've evolved the training so much since then. I'm just gonna hold this shit. I've evolved the training so much since then that I just want to get a chance uh, to actually you know, get the full protocol uh, with the bands and with all the craziness that has produced wild numbers in my crew. And now I'll get a chance, but I need to get comfortable under the bar. Once again, I'm doing the Olympic shoes uh, for most of my back squats, except for today. Today, I'm gonna help the guys, uh, they have a meet this weekend, help the guys do their taper against four bands. They'll go bar weight plus um, band weight equal opener. So that's kind of the taper. That'll be their last big squat before the meet. And then I'm going to go ahead and deload the bar. Um, I've been taking bands on back squat the last couple weeks raw. Uh, went uh, two, three, and four bands, which is 200, 300, 400 pounds this wave. And then... Um, I made 235 plus four bands last week. So this will be, because this is their meat week, I don't have to really taper. This would be a week where I would take a weight. I'll take a weight with a specialty bar. My favorite specialty bar is the uh, camera bar. Got an old camera bar from one of the old West Siders. So basically that's the plan. The plan is help those guys take a back squat in the AM camera bar and then I'll front squat something uh, in the afternoon. So what's my, what am I anticipating I'll make? I honestly have no fucking clue. Yesterday squats felt better than I thought. Um, and each week they felt better in the morning, but we'll see. That's what, that's the part about, I love about squatting all the time. You got no fucking clue what's about to happen. And like John Bro says, you want to try this program? Probably need your fucking head examined. <laughs> Alright. On to squats. Peace. Day three.
Cause I might sound I'm a cool law who won't fuck me And if you don't feel me then you can't touch me It's ugly, trust me Get it right dog, we ain't never First off, it weighs 65 pounds, so it's like a weird weight. Um, it stresses your lower back more and it challenges your balance. A lot of people don't have access to specialty bars. They don't understand like how fucking hard, how difficult they are and how much better they can make it. Whoa, still here. All right, so I made 420. So yesterday I back squatted and my lifter is 405. Um, I still don't feel real super comfortable in my wide stance. I'm trying to figure out where to put my feet at. I've been in powerlifting equipment. So I've been wearing briefs, wearing a suit for the last couple years. Now I've been squatting some pretty big fucking weight, but my body from a raw standpoint doesn't really know how to brace yet. So I've been doing a crap load of hamstring work, crap load of lower abs, trying to really create more of a brace and now it's just staying healthy under the bar, adding a little bit of lower back today too. Um, I've been having trouble figuring out a variation of lower back that doesn't tweak my QL. Anyway, really happy with the progress. Uh, like I said, 420. The thing about me is I've, you know, man, I've been squatting 500 plus raw since late 2010s and you know, 700 in a suit. I think the first time I did it was 2011. So I've been supporting quite a bit of iron and back and, and squatting almost every day off and on for the last decade, uh, ever since I ran across the John Bros article. So for me, damn, I gotta figure that out. For me, if I can just stay healthy and stay tight under the bar and it moves, if I can unrack it, I can pretty much fucking squat it. That's the way my mentality is. So stay tuned for the back squat session in the afternoon, or I'm sorry, front squat session in the afternoon. Talk to y'all later. Peace. Day three, motherfuckers. All right. That was the sixth, sixth squat session in 72 hours. Um, it was fucking difficult. Front squat at 250. After back squatting 420 on the camera bar this morning, it took the cigar, the watch, the chain. It took all of it. <laughs> right, Danny? Yes, it did. It took all of it to get through it. But I'm hoping I'll have a mini super compensation like the Russians talked about. I'll go through two sessions tomorrow. 
one to two Friday, one Saturday, one Sunday at like a medium level. That would be 10 to 12 back squat, 10 to 12 squat sessions on the week of my 44th birthday, motherfucker. And uh, if I can get a mini super compensation up the next week, I could get a raise in overall strength just by changing the stimulus like to this point. On top of that, lunge with a 30 pound vest all week too. So as I back down, if I take off the vest during the weekend, go light on the squats or medium, we'll see what happens Monday. Anyway, I'm about to show you the front squats, which were tough as fuck, but I went to 250. Rock and roll, see y'all motherfuckers tomorrow. Peace. It is, a lot of gold on there, kid. <clears throat> All right, this is the end. I just want to reiterate that six squat workouts in 72 hours really fucking hard. Bulgar the true Bulgarian method. The true Bulgarian. Well, not all the way the true. Because then I'd be snatching and clean and jerking, which I'm not. So I'm the half Bulgarian method. See you tomorrow.